Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Memphis. And this is Zidonski here. And we are here to rage collectively with you over Project Legion. I'm not sure if I'm going to rage. I was being sarcastic because I'm not here to rage. Although, we are here to um, question whether or not people actually should feel some kind of way about Project Legion in the first place. If you don't know what Project Legion is... Project Legion was announced at E FanFest 2014 in Reykjavik, Iceland. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. I really don't know anything about Iceland. <laughs> um, basically, um, how do I put? I don't want to say that it's Dust for the PC because that's not what they're marketing it as. But that's really what it is. It's Dust 514, except that it's on the PC. You know, so what what genre of game is it? Well, it's a first person shooter MMO, just like um, Dust Five One Four is. So it's pretty much the exact same game. They're just rework. They're gonna rework the shooter mechanics. It's gonna go under a different name, hmm. and they're going to put um, more diversity in with the suits and a lot of the um, and the races, and that's gonna be a bigger factor. Um, in Dust, or not in Dust, in Project Legion. I gotta stop calling it Dust because it's not Dust. <laughs> um, what else is going to go in there? They're also going to rework the graphics. I don't know if you've seen the screenshots. Um, not, I don't think we'll be putting the screenshots in this video. But um, you can look them up. You can definitely, if you want to Google it, you can Google it. And they, uh, they'll be, they were reworking all the graphics, the user interface, everything. They're cleaning it up. Um, it definitely looks smaller. A lot more, um, a lot more streamlined, a lot more informative. Um, what else are they going to do with Project Legion? Well, there's, there's a quite a few things actually. There's definitely going to be a PvP mode added. And is it only going to be for the PC? And it's only going to be for the PC. Which, thankfully, I can play now. Yes, uh, if you if you um, keep up with our videos, then you know that me and Zadonski are not PC players. Although Zadonski recently made the switch. So he's now a member of the PC Master Race. You guys can have him. I really don't want him. That's neither here nor there. Um, so, well, that's really all. That's really all you need to know about Project Legion. There's not too much else. I mean, anything else we can think of, we'll go over in the video. But that's really all the important stuff handled. So, as far as Project Legion goes, I guess the the thing is, you know, people are very upset that the game that they came to love and the game they supported for so long in um, Dust 514 is going over to PC. Oh, yeah, that would make tons of people angry. Except me. Yes, except for him. Um, and I'm here to tell you that I am actually, I'm very angry that um, Dust 514 or is not going to the PC under the guise of Project Legion. And I think everyone who supported this game for such a long time, because I'm not going to sit here and act like I've been supporting this game since the get-go, because I haven't. I didn't play since beta. And I played for maybe, I haven't played for eight months, I think. At best, eight months. You of Dust playing Final 4. is supporting the game. Yes, well, I mean, okay, I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. I mean playing, I mean supporting the game is in making videos about it and really trying to expose it to a market of new people. There are all these um, new gamers that might be interested in a first-person shooter. You know, um, guys who have been calling for the improvements to this game to be made for months. You know, for years even, since this thing came out way back in 2009. You know, to the PC, or to the... <laughs> See, I'm getting it backwards already, you guys, I'm sorry. To the PlayStation 3. You know, there have been guys who have been around for a while, and who have spent a lot of money on this game. You know, I don't, I don't know, I'm not going to sit here and try and guess anybody's wallet, you know, but I'm sure people have spent, probably spent a couple grand on this game in the past. And those guys should really be upset. You know, that's a lot of hard-earned money. That's a lot of time being put into a game that's just about to be ripped out from under your feet, so to speak. And I think part of the, um, part of the reason people are upset about it is that um, Dust 514 feels like a wish sandwich. If you don't know what a wish sandwich is, it's 
basically someone's... It's like, okay, a more common term would probably be bill of goods. It's like a big bill of goods, you know. They said, this. that's what this is... That's why one forward is going to be this huge game. It's going to have this big connection with Eve, and it's going to be so cool. You know, you're going to have... You can call on orbital strikes, which you can do. You can have faction of warfare, which you have. And you're going to have all this other stuff. The problem is... Is that it's like half baked on the PlayStation 3. <coughs> you know, it's not at all what they said it was going to be like. And that's really, un that's unfortunate. And for all the people who wanted to see it get that way, which, like me, I really wanted to see this game succeed. You know, and it never did because the realization never, it never came to pass. Like it should have. Like it was promised it should have. You know, like CCP said it would. And, you know, I, that's, that's really unfortunate. Because there are a lot of people, like I said before, who put a lot into this. Um, but I don't think that anybody should really be upset about this. Because, or no, I'm sorry, not upset. Let me rephrase that. Shouldn't be surprised at this. To get very uh, pragmatic, maybe that's the word. How long has it just been out? Uh, I think it's about 2009. I might be wrong about that. It's about 2009. But it's not even the the length of time that this game has been out. That shouldn't even be. That should even go into it. Let's look at games like you know Eve for a minute, or any game that TCP's really been working on. You know, they've all kind of been wish sandwiches. A lot of people play, people play this game for the idea of what dust could be. Because that's what people wanted. You know, the idea seems really, really cool. Ambitious. Yes, very ambitious. Taking two games, putting them together. One a first-person shooter MMO. The other one is a... Um, the other one is, well, it's a spreadsheet in space, really. No offense to you players, that's just what it looks like to me. I mean, Eve is a... Um, it's this huge, massive game with a really dedicated following and connecting the two and giving people like me who were never really too interested in EVE, and I never could get into it, it looks way too complicated, it's pretty intimidating. Death 514 was a little easier to wrap my head around. You know, and that's kind of what this was for, to really get people into the universe, kind of slowly push them in with something that was really popular at the time, which was a first-person shooter, because probably back in 2009 when this game came out, Things like Battlefield and Call of Duty were dominating the market, and so to do that is a really smart, ambitious idea. And like I said, it's, it was the idea that got people hooked. It was the idea that got me hooked. You know, that's why I kept playing this game. I really wanted to see where this was going to go. You know, how much could I have to do with the Eve universe? And to be fair, there is a bit that you can do. But it's nowhere near enough, you know, it's nowhere near the maximum potential. And Scotty has just laid an egg for me. Thank you, Scotty. I love you. Is Legion is going to be the better game, like, hands down, right? Yes, Le Legion will be the complete realization of the Dust 514 dream. It will have the PvE, it will have the scavenging mechanic, it will have the, um... Your skill points will even transfer yes, over, Yes, uh, all skill points... Your Orm stuff will be transferred over. Um, oh gosh, what else will it have? It'll have the um, the the uh, in-game market. Is that the word? Is that how you say it? The market. Yeah. Kind of like the yeah player market. That's what I'm looking for. Thank you. The player market. And um, yeah, it'll it'll have a, a lot broader, a big broader range of places to go. You know, things to do. You so know. then the only problem is that it's not on PS3 or a console at all. It's not even a fact. Okay, well, let's look at it this way. I would, no one would have a problem if this game was on PC. Because, well, I'm sorry, okay, console gamers have a problem if this game was on PC. Because they don't like, they don't like uh, PC gamers. Uh, that's not really what I'm saying. If, if they had started this game on the PC... And said, okay, this is a PC title. You know, we're going to go from here. PlayStation 3 was, in 2009 was kind of in its latter stages, okay? Let's not pretend like this is a, still a brand new system. Because it wasn't. It sure as heck wasn't. Okay? If they had to start on PC, this wouldn't have been an issue. And they'd been able to do this stuff from the start. 
you know, it was a really dumb business decision to go ahead and put it on a on a system that had been out for how long in 2009? I don't even three know. years. For three years, you know, and it was already already starting to decline. You know, that this that was not a very good business decision. Yeah, some of the people may feel differently, but that's just me. You know, I would have gone on ahead with the PC. We all know the PC is more powerful. For as much as people want to hate on it, that's honestly just more due to the fan base and the forums than anything else. You know, people who don't like the WASD on a keyboard, you know? And so, I mean, I guess it's really preference, but we all know the system is more powerful. You know, and when you see those beautiful screenshots... You know, it really drives the point home because you're like, well, why the heck didn't they do this in the first place? <laughs> uh, I'm getting proto stomp right now. Just, just, just pointing it out. I'm getting, yeah. Uh, that's another video. We're not gonna do that because this game is already dying, you know. But yeah, like I said before, you know, um, there, there shouldn't be too much surprise with this, you know, because it really, is, it really is just the idea of dust that people are playing for, people were playing for, and um, we'll probably keep on playing Legion for to see if it finally gives them that realization of the dream. You know, are they finally gonna, you know, is, people will probably think that Legion is going to be the, you know, them getting out of the hood and finally moving into the suburbs, <laughs> to put it in a more interesting way of speaking, you know. Like that kind of dream, you know. Are we finally moving up in the world when it comes to this five one four? And to be honest with you, oh my goodness, I'm just dying. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I really don't know if it's pro. I think Project Legion. I'm excited for it, I guess, because I I wanted to see this game succeed, but I don't know. You know, how good is it going to be when you have people like C at CCP who do stuff like this? You know, are they going to make better business decisions? You know, are they going to fix some of the problems with this game? I don't know. So what is going to happen to this game? Um, well, in an article that I read, I read that um, I'm going to find it and I will post this article in the description so you can see it. Um... It was an interview with the vice president of CCP. My goodness. Um, and kind of towards the end of the article, he was saying that there's going that this game might not even last, you know, three to six months after Project Legion came out. He was saying he really doesn't know. Now at FanFest, it was said that they were going to continue development for this game. Like, you know, for how long? We don't know. You know, it was never, I don't think it was ever specified if it was, I haven't been able to find it. It was never specified that this is going to, oh my goodness, that um, they're going to keep development going for a really long time. I'd be surprised if they did. You know, um, I really would. Because to be honest, I think it kind of, this really sends the message that they actually don't care all that much about the PlayStation 3 players and they just, they're actually more out to I feel like they're more out to um, how do I put this <sighs> kind of bolster the EVE universe in their already existing game and then they are out to cater to this fan base and see what they really want even though they've been so dedicated and so good to them over the years you know Especially over 2D, I mean, you know how hard it is to get into this game. I mean, think about it in the early stages. You know, I'm sure there were a lot of complaints coming back in. You know, and people kept supporting and kept supporting, and I feel like they're just they care more about the Eve because Eve is kind of the meal ticket with the uh, subscriptions and everything else. You know, more so than Dust would be. So, so yeah, I really don't know what's gonna happen to this game. Uh, it's it's not going to die. I mean, it's just going over to PC. This particular game, yes, is going to die, and it's going to be ported over to the PC for all intents and purposes. 
to get a more powerful version with better graphics, better shooter mechanics, all of the stuff that you were promised on the PlayStation 3. And, um, yeah. <laughs> it, it, that's kind of sad, really. I think, uh, I still stand by the fact, I think you should feel some kind of way about it. And I think all the forum rage is justified. I think that I haven't seen too much YouTube rage. I haven't really been looking into the YouTube videos on this because I don't like watching the competition. But, um, not a competition. Oh, it's totally competition. We love them all. No, we don't. Shut up. I'm coming for your crown, you guys. You must join the, the PC makers. Master Race and love everyone. Get your propaganda off of this video. I will kill you. Um. So yeah, I don't know. Do you feel? Why do you? How do you feel about this, Donsky? What do you think? Well, the my opinion comes from someone that hasn't spent a dime on dust nor have I really enjoyed my experience with it so I'm sure many people don't care what I how I feel um, I feel that if there's gonna be a better game I you know if that means cutting off support for dust hey you know I'm all for advancing technology um, thankfully that skill points will transfer over so you know what problems do I have if all my stuff transfers over and I get a better game on PC which I can do I'm happy hmm. I guess that adds, that's something else you know that has to be added to the mix you know how many people actually have a gaming PC I think all the Eve players you know since Eve is a PC game all the Eve players more than likely have a um no more than likely have a gaming PC to play it on. So you people who play even PC or even Dust, you know, you guys don't have too much to worry about. Now, the people like me, who don't have a gaming PC, I have a laptop that kind of puts along, and I can nurse it along playing like TF2 or playing um, the Old Republic. That's really about it. Um, you know, I don't have a PC that's even. That would I even that would that, that I would even try and run, um, Dust or uh, Project New, Legion on newer games. Yes, newer games at all. You know, any I mean, it barely meets the four gigabytes of RAM requirement for most of those games. You know, so yeah, that's uh, you know, I mean, that really does kind of just shafts some people. I mean, how many people actually now have to go out and buy? A gaming PC. So, I guess there's nothing wrong with the PC in general. It's just the fact that this game was promised to us on one thing and then delivered to us on another. You know, and that's... That, that's not right by any stretch of the board. By any stretch of the imagination, that's not right. And, you know, if you do feel salty about it and you feel gypped and, you know... What is the word I'm looking for? Chided? Slighted in any way? <coughs> yeah, you should. Because CCP sold you a big wish sandwich, and then not not only, not only did they sell you a wish sandwich, but then they took it away from you completely. Oh, for the record, okay, you see how this guy is shooting at me? You see how his bullets go to a certain point and stop? That's a freaking bug that has not been fixed yet, CCP. Another one of the things that you are leaving unfinished is you now go over to Project Legion to start something new. You know, this is the unfinished product that you left us with after telling us how great this game was going to be. And getting everybody so hyped up, you know, to get into this EVE universe and enjoy it. On the PlayStation 3, a completely affordable console right now. You know, something that a lot of people had. And, you know, <laughs> and this is kind of what you left us with. And that, that's not even close to being right. So, you know, that's really all we have to say on the matter. I would stress that... I don't know everything about Project Legion, and if you want, I'll, I'll, I'll post some of the articles that I uh, that I read in the description, and I'll put them on the um, in annotations on the screen, so you can see them. You can click on them, check them out. You know, come to your own conclusions. Um, so you guys on the forums keep fighting the good fight, because I think everyone, people who express themselves that way, 
you know, are actually really good for games like this and for companies, you know, it's good for them to, to help them learn that, no, people don't want to deal with stupid stuff like this. You know, stupid stunts like this are not going to fly.